So I got a lot of thoughts about this uh, Hill People Gear backpack. Uh, I'll get into that. All right, today I'm going to give a first impressions on this. Uh, this is the Hill People Gear U. I think it's pronounced U. It's U T E V two. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, that helps a lot. But yeah, so I'm trying to give like just uh, some first impressions on this backpack. Uh, initial impressions are if you like straps, this is the backpack for you. And then you can tell there's straps everywhere on this. Um, so I'm gonna go on a quick uh, couple mile hike with it uh, just to get it dialed in. I'm gonna do like a more uh, in depth uh, kind of review or my impressions of it once I do some backpacking trips with it. So uh, if you follow, then I'll probably get an update in a couple months once I have more experience with it. But this is just gonna be a quick hike, get it dialed in, give my first impressions about the, the bag. So I'm gonna get out to that hike. I'm gonna go up near Greenwater around Mount Rainier. Uh, sorry, my dog's drinking. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll see you out there uh, on the trail. I have it pretty much loaded up, kind of light. Um, I just threw on my kind of my heaviest, biggest tripod, some water, and threw some like random things in the uh, the main pocket, in the top pocket. So I'll see you out there. So after hiking all afternoon with this Hill People Gear uh, Ute V2 uh, backpack, I have a lot of thoughts about it and I'll get into that now. So first thing first, there's a couple things top of mind just because I'm pretty uncomfortable right now. And uh, because of that, I'll start with the negatives. I have a lot of nice things to say about this backpack. Um, remember, this is my first impressions. This is not a review. Make sure to like, subscribe. Um, and follow me in a while after I use this a bit more, I'll have a full review on that. But uh, first things first is this backpack setup, especially with the, um, the kit bag is extremely warm. Um, I'm drenched in sweat. I don't typically sweat too much when we're hiking, uh, but this is, uh, this is pretty excessive. I'm, I'm dripping sweat today. So I think uh, it's currently 81. Uh, it went up to the mid eighties uh, in parts of the trail. Uh, to be honest, there's not a great breeze in this uh, canyon where I'm hiking right now, but um, it's not excessively hot. We're in the 80s, it's not 90s. Um, uh, we're in the Northwest, the humidity is not too bad. Um, so yeah, um, I don't think I'll be using the kit bag when I'm using this um, uh, backpack in the future, just because there's not a lot of breathability. Um, you're covering up your chest with this, so you can't really dissipate heat through your chest. Uh, the breathability in the back is actually not too bad. As you can see, the backpack, the way it's designed, uh, it, is, it is actually pretty breathable in the back. So that's a great uh, plus on that, and I can't complain. But when you close off your chest, uh, the breathability is good in the back, but it's not 100%, it's not wide open. Uh, and then you have the hip belt. There's very little place for heat to kind of like dissipate when you're uh, hiking and things like that. So I don't see myself using the kit bag with this if it's over 70 degrees, just because how warm it is. So uh, that's the first negative. Uh, it's not really negative, it's just more um, something to be aware of when you're setting up your kit. Um, I'm probably gonna end up carrying my bear spray or a weapon 
uh, on the hip. I, I think I'm gonna try to figure out some situation to do with that so I don't have to carry the kit bag. Um, though I will say the kit bag carries very nicely, especially with the lifters. Um, I can't really feel the weight and it's actually, it's been quite enjoyable to carry besides the, um, the warmth of it. Uh, so. Let me get this off. Uh, since we're going through the negatives, the next thing I would say was kind of a, a bit of a negative with this bag is um, uh, there's a ton of straps uh, and that could be positive. I do like how well the straps work. It's just uh, if you get, especially if you're new to outdoor gear and stuff like that and out, new to backpacking and uh, this style of backpack, is, it can be kind of overwhelming. Um, they do have some videos on it, but I wish they did a little bit more videos on how different people use these uh, systems and just kind of spent more time doing that. Uh, they have this whole new um, series with Hill People Gear where they actually are going through their individual bags. And I think that will go a long way towards uh, kind of helping new users figure out how to use this, these different systems. Uh, so there's a lot of straps. So you better be comfortable with uh, strap management if you're uh, buying one of these bags. Um, the next negative is more about, I guess, uh, about me personally and just kind of someone my size. Um, I did notice, especially with, this isn't just unique to this uh, bag from Hill People Gear, but I have the Tara Humara too. And when I was adjusting these and setting these up, um, I had to adjust a lot of the different straps all the way to the maximum setting, so the, for the smallest person. Uh, I'm about 5'8 on a good day. Uh, more reasonably, you can assume I'm between 5'7 uh, and 5'8. Um, if you're under 5'7, uh, it's gonna be kind of iffy in my opinion, uh, if these backpacks will be adjustable down to your size. Um, I think it'd be great if Hill People Gear kind of invested more in um, kind of tuning the backpacks and their systems towards smaller people as well. Um, I understand it's a niche uh, company and they can't uh, invest a ton of resources in making every system they make work with every single body style. Um, the people from Hill People Gear, if you've seen them, um, I think it's Kevin, um, Ethan, and I'm forgetting the, the main people uh, that are part of that company, but these, they're pre pretty burly guys. Uh, they're tall, they're stocky, um, they're not as small as me. And uh, these, I get, when you've seen the promotional pictures and things like that, you can tell that these backpacks fit them well. Um, on smaller people like myself, they can look a bit awkward. Uh, thankfully, I think I'm at the lower end uh, as far as this backpack uh, working out for me. So it does work for me, but um, if I was an inch shorter, uh, I would really be questioning it. Um, and kind of going along with that, since we're on this uh, theme, uh, the configurability of this, especially the stays, uh, those two steel stays, uh, it's pretty, um, it can be kind of complicated. It can be kind of hard to set up, especially if you've never done this before. Um, it took me about two hours to get the stays bent so that they're uh, comfortable for me. Uh, if you live uh, near one of the Hill People Gear retail stores, I would highly recommend you go in there, try on the backpack, have them adjust the stays for you. That will take care of this whole situation. You could be walking out of the store with um, a fully configured backpack. But that's all I have to say in terms of negative things about this backpack today. Um, I have a lot of good things to say. Um, I loaded this up somewhat Kind of awkwardly just because i was throwing random gear in here today just to get some weight so i can get an idea of how this carries um even with it being kind of awkward with this tall tripod uh this tripod is very heavy it's the heavy, uh, heaviest tripod i could find uh in my gear uh I brought some big water bottles and i just threw random heavy things in the main pocket they're kind of riding really low and also threw some things in this top pocket um having said that this worked wonderfully um i didn't adjust it once throughout the whole hike today and this is the first hike i've taken this backpack on so uh, that kind of just speaks to how well the system is, uh, how well the system works when it's dialed in. Um, yeah, I can't, uh, I don't think I've ever had a backpack, even the Tar Humara, um, I spent more time adjusting and trying to get it right. Um, I've had it about that backpack, I think four months now, and I probably adjust that, pap uh, that backpack um, still to this day. And uh, this one, I was like, it was dialed in immediately and Throughout the three-mile hike, I didn't have to touch it once. Um, I didn't touch any straps, I didn't tighten anything. It was perfect, I was kind of scrambling over some rocks. Uh, you might be able to tell in the background, there's some bridges that are out, so I was doing some like log crossings and things like that, and this was super secure. So it kind of goes back to those, all those straps. Um, they do work really well, um, and I'm extremely happy with how, um, how secure everything was in this backpack and how it carried. Um, the weight was distributed perfectly between my hips and my shoulders. Um, it carried this uh, really well. Uh, yeah, I just, I can't really say enough about how this carries. Uh, I'd be very confident carrying a ton of weight in this. And that's not something you can say about like a lot of ultralight gear or a lot of uh, different brands that have uh, 
backpacking gear nowadays. Um, and I have no, no problem believing that this will last easily uh, a decade or more. So uh, going along that again, I'm trying to keep these themes going here. Uh, this is not an ultralight backpack. Uh, it's pretty heavy, um, but you can also carry a ton of weight in here that you couldn't carry in a lot of uh, ultralight backpacks. So there's that. Um, it is a bit expensive, uh, but it's made here in the United States. And the company is a great company. Uh, they're very responsive and uh, I plan on buying a lot more products from them in the future. So yeah, this is just the first impressions. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into detail here, but I hope you got kind of a good idea of what this system uh, is and kind of, I guess I didn't really go too much into it. Actually, let me talk a little bit more about these pockets. Um, this is not scripted, this is a bit raw. Um, I just hiked in, I stopped and I wanted to do this um, now, just to give you my real, uh, kind of like unscripted, uh, real impressions of this. So this is mostly just one giant pocket. Um, there is a new pocket that they put in the V2. Um, as far as I understand, this was not in the V1, but there's a tiny pocket that's about the same size as the kit bag uh, main compartment that rides on top of the lid. And I actually stuffed that pretty heavy. Um, and I, that, I really enjoyed uh, that pocket. I think I wouldn't have enjoyed this bag as much if it didn't have that. So it's great that I ended up waiting for the V2, I guess. Um, the main pocket is just one big uh, compartment. There's nothing, uh, as far as I could tell, there was no additional pockets in there, configurability. Uh, there's a place to put um, a water bladder and there's a, they have a, like a plastic sheet in there. Um, I wouldn't really count that as a pocket, it's just if you're using a water bladder. Um, I don't use water bladder, so that didn't apply to me. Um, there's straps along the top, so you can strap um, your camping gear along the top, uh, I guess horizontally. Uh, you can also do the same on the bottom of the bag. Um, as you can see, I have my camera strapped into the side. Uh, it's seeing that uh, pocket that rides on both sides, there's pockets. Uh, my tripod is riding on this one, and then my 1.5 liter water bottle is in the other one. And as I said, this kept it very secure. So, yeah, this is a bit of a raw video. Uh, I'm stumbling through this a little bit, but uh, it's about as real as I'm gonna be able to get with the first impression. Uh, if you have any questions or any uh, anything you'd like to know about this backpack that I can cover maybe in other videos, uh, please leave a comment, make sure to subscribe. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm really happy with this backpack. Uh, there's a minor improvements, but um, I think it's overall, it was a solid purchase for me.